to a Serbian inventor, a Hollywood actress, and an Australian engineer have in common. They all helped invent Wi-Fi. This story started all the way back in 1903. Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla, who is also behind the currents that power our homes, invented the first known method of wireless communication. Was that enough to give us Wi-Fi? Probably not, because in comes actress Hedy Lamarr. In 1941, thanks to her time in World War II, she invented something cool called frequency hopping. Not to be confused with bunny hopping. Lamar created a system to stop enemies finding out where their torpedoes were. Take that, bad guys! But how did all of this become Wi-Fi? By accident. Don't believe me? Ask engineer John O'Sullivan. He wanted to find out how radio waves work in a black hole. Instead, he figured out how Wi-Fi works. What's up with cool science people and discovering things out of nowhere? But hey, do you know what Wi-Fi actually means? It means nothing. It is a made-up word, just like bazinga. They called it Wi-Fi because calling it 802B11 direct sequence wasn't cool enough. Names like Flank Speed and Dragonfly were also in the running. But they sound more like superhero characters, don't they? But can you imagine living with no Wi-Fi? The people in Greenbank, West Virginia actually do. They can't use Wi-Fi or cell phones because there's a big telescope nearby that needs complete radio silence. So, they probably can't watch this video on their phones right now. Aww. But hey, think about it. Three people in three countries at three different times figured out one major invention we all use today. So I guess teamwork really does make the dream work. Oh, hey there. Head on over to DIY.org for fun projects, how-to videos, TV shows, and a global community of kids just like you. Okay, bye!